Hey guys, Crispy here again. Uh, I just wanted to bring you another video. Um, this one is going to be about the level 7 legendary gear. And then I also want to touch on the Revelation Battlefield, specifically the Revelation Altar. Um, I want to show you kind of like what I do. I feel like that's going to get you guys a lot of uh, chests to get either diamonds or other items that you may need. So just to start off the main portion of this video, um, I want to go over the level 7 legendary gear set, okay? I'm currently wearing it. Now, as you can see, I also do have a full supreme set, okay? The reason I'm wearing the level 7 legendary gear set is because it is stronger. It's more BR, more damage. The level... Uh, five supreme set <clears throat> the the stats that you get or the bonuses that you get for the pieces are better but just overall the level seven legendary gear is better now eventually you can get the this level five to level six i think level seven to level eight same with the legendary set that i'm wearing now you could get that up to level eight uh, but you're gonna see that right now i'm wearing the level seven legendary it's because it's just better it is still worth it to get the Supreme Gear. The reason I say that is because you will need that to open up the Cosmic Set. Now, again, I've gotten this Supreme Set when I was, you know, spending money on those events. And it's worth it. Even though you're not going to wear it right away, it's worth it to unlock this uh, Cosmic Set. It'll give you nice bonuses, nice BR. Um, your skills will be improved. And as you can see, I'm, I'm coming along with this. I'm almost at level six where I get the real first bonus, the big bonus. Uh, as you can see here too, the turbo set, um, that's coming along as well. Not as fast because it's a lot harder to get. You know, I need to craft level seven legendary gear for each time I'm going to upgrade it. Um, that's it. You know, I'm still working on the uh, workshop. I'm still getting the, the crafting vouchers. Um, the special crafting vouchers for the legendary gear, because that's really still what I'm focusing on. You can see my BR is coming along. I've gotten that from upgrading my plumes or the, the sets, the level seven legendary gear set, how you get it. Okay. Most of you will probably get level six. The way you get the level seven is by getting your turbo set to level 15. Once it all hits, all of these pieces hit level 15, you're going to see when you go to the crafting section, the set button, you're going to see that you're going to be able to unlock level 7 legendary gear and craft it. And you're going to see it's going to take two level 6 legendary gears. Um, next step for me will be the level 8, and I still have quite a ways to get there. I have to unlock my turbo set to 21. It's not even at full 16 yet. Uh, I actually will probably unlock this first. So I'll probably be able to get the level 6 Supreme Gear first before the level 8. So I'll give you guys an update on that and if that's better than the level 7 or whatnot. So again, I'm just saying this because this is what you're going to be going through. And as long as this gives you a heads up of what to expect, it'll make life a lot easier instead of trying to figure it out on your own. Um... That's really it for the level 7 uh, legendary gear set and why I'm wearing it over the Supreme set. The uh, And again, any questions that I'm not answering, just write them in the comments. The next thing I want to go over is the Revelation Battlefield. Now, I didn't really get into this. Uh, we just had the altar a little while ago. But when you go into the Revelation altar, I don't know if I'm allowed to... Yeah, it'll let me in, but it's not going to have the altars up, I don't think. When you go in here, it's going to be the same setup, except you're going to see altars. Uh, I don't want to do that here. Like, where is it? Right there. You're going to see. There's going to be one in the middle. There's going to be one over there. And there's going to be one like over there or something like that, like over there. So there's one, two, three, four all over the map. When you do this revelation altar, the first thing you should look to do is go to each of these altars and capture them. Just capture them. You don't have to hold them, just capture them. Because when you do for these, the outside ones, the three on the outside, you'll get a chest and some revelation points for doing it, okay? 
the middle one, if there was any one of them that you had to pick to do, even though you should do all of them, it will be the middle one, okay? You're going to want to capture this because it'll give you the red chest. Now, for those of you who aren't too familiar with it, the red chest has a 60% chance of giving you 200 diamonds. And they do this revelation altar, I think, one, two, three, four, or five times a week, right? So if you get five of those, you know, you're looking at four, 600 diamonds just for the week. And that's just on that one uh, event. Um, revelation Battlefield rankings. No, we want to go to the rewards. And so every time you capture the center altar, it will give you one of these Supreme Revelation chests. Right, you get to get a bunch of good stuff with it too. Um, so make sure that you're doing that every time in the Revelation Altar. If you're having an issue uh, capturing it, people are killing you, you know, you have strong people. The good thing is that around the map, you will see um, Revelation Shards, I think it is. It's going to be little purple things, and they're usually on the edges. Like, I'll usually go over here and start picking them. Um, you can pick 10 of them right? Each time you pick one of them up, it gives you a buff. And that buff, I'm pretty sure it gives you immunity and um, it gives you like a speed buff. So the second that you get one of those revelation shards, I don't know what they call them, but once you pick one of those up, run directly to the center altar and just capture it. You'll see that you'll get the chest Make sure, again, that you're capturing all of the altars when you do the Revelation Battlefield because you'll get a lot of chests and that's either a lot of diamonds or a lot of uh, gear or items that's going to help you instead of you know having to spend money on this game. Um, the other trick that I try to do with my leagueies or league members is I try not to capture the altar uh, until there's like 30 seconds left. It takes about 12 to 15 seconds, I think I, I averaged it out, to capture an altar, right? So if you capture an altar with like 25 seconds left, even if somebody kills you and they try to capture it, there's not going to be enough time for them to get it, right? And yeah, I'm running into a lot of people that are a lot stronger than me. So, you know, it's you got to get crafty with what you do with this game. But um, those are just some of the things that I try and do. Because again, if I capture it, and I wait till there's like 30 seconds left or whatnot, they're probably going to do the same thing to me. And I can't kill them, some of these guys, right? And, you know, for some of you guys that are lower BR, you can't really kill the other person. But if you can try and stay alive when you capture it, it's a better chance. Um, you know, make sure you use the heal pet, right, to help you heal while you're capturing it. Just make sure you're pressing that button so it heals you. Um, you know, if you have any type of damage reduction or whatnot, um... And that's basically it uh, for the Revelation Altar. Um, so again, you're going to notice that when you get to the point, the level 7 legendary gear is going to be better than the Supreme gear. Uh, but again, it's still worth it to get the Supreme gear to open up the Cosmic set. And then for the Revelation Altar, you know, you're not going to be able to capture all the altars. You know, sometimes even me and my league members, you know, we don't capture any. Uh, but do your best to capture them just to get the rewards. You don't have to hold them till the end. Hope this video helps you guys. I do want to say thank you so much for the subscribes, likes, comments. You know, I started this, this channel maybe like a month ago or so where I started actually putting up videos and I didn't expect any type of response. I actually put up my first video to help out some league members. Um, but I really am glad to see that, you know, some of you guys are getting some good stuff out of this. Um, anything you want me to do videos on, write in the comments. Anything that I'm missing about the gear or the uh, altar, right in the comments. And if you can, like and subscribe, guys. It really gives me motivation to move forward with this and uh, keep putting out good stuff. Thank you so much. You guys have a great night. And uh, I'll do another video in the next few days. Bye, guys.